Hey cooking friends, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer and if you are just joining us for the very first time, welcome and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And ring the bell. And we appreciate you, all of our regular subscribers yes. coming back and joining us each week here and don't forget to give us that thumbs up. Yes. Because it really helps our channel. And wait until you see this breakfast recipe. Oh, it is so good. And it's quick and it's easy. And you convenient. Can, convenient, because you can take it on the go. That's what's great about this. And I know a lot of you out there, you know, you got to commute to work and stuff like that. But you can make this up and you could even make it ahead of time and just reheat it. And, you know, just yes. heat it up, take it with you in the car, and you've got breakfast on your way to work. And so. you get in the car with your kids, just pass one out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So we are going to take you back to the stove and we're going to show you how it's done. Now our favorite thing is olive oil. And we're starting off with a skillet on medium heat. And then we're going to add a couple pats of butter in there. Oh yeah, our butter. We love our butter. That's right. Now we're adding a half a cup of onions. Love sweet that. onions at that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Diced sweet onions. Got to have some sweet onions in there. And then a half a cup each of green pepper and red pepper. And we're just going to saute this up together. You're making a mess already, Jen. I can see that. I know. We're just going to soften, uh, soften these up. Maybe about three minutes here. We're going to saute them. And then, once these get nice and soft, a little bit translucent, we are going to add in our eggs. And we've got three eggs here. I'm going to turn that down to low. And some salt and pepper. You're going to whisk that up. So we're just going to pour that right on top of our yummy stuff here. And we're doing three eggs because we're going to make two of these. So um, normally would probably you probably just do a two egg one or whatever if you're just making one for yourself. But since we're going to make two, one for each of us, huh? Oh, right. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and put three in here, and and we're gonna just scramble these. And up we're a just gonna bit. hope that's enough. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so once these are scrambled, we're gonna get them off the heat. We don't want them to overcook, and we're gonna just put them on a plate and set them aside. And then, in this same skillet, there's plenty of oil and stuff left in the skillet. We're going to just take our tortilla. And throw that in. And we're going to brown up both sides of this. We're going to cook it for one minute on each side. I flipped it over here so we could get oil on both sides. And then, you know, because that, that tortilla is going to absorb that, the leftover oil in the pan. And then we're just going to flip it over before we add the rest of our stuff in here, so. To make it kind of soft. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna let that get a little brown. Then we're gonna take half of the eggs and we're gonna scoop it in here and start making our quesadilla. Like I said, there's plenty of eggs for two different tortillas here, so. And then we're gonna take some Shredded cheese. We love cheese. And this is just your Mexican blend? Yes, I, is, I love that kind. That's what's one of our favorites. That's what we use just about in everything. And then we got some big, thick sliced tomatoes. And we have some pre-cooked. Bacon. And I just cut these into like halves so I can kind of put it in the shape that I'm going to be cutting this into. And more cheese. And we've got some sharp cheddar cheese. I always like to cook with sharp cheddar because it gives a lot of flavor. And then we're going to just take this. Side and flip it over. Flip it over and we're going to let this cook and brown on both sides. and let that, that cheese melt in there. I got it down on low so it doesn't burn. But we just want to brown up the outside of the tortilla on both sides. So we're going to flip this over. You may have to kind of hold it so it doesn't fall apart. Look at that. 
Mm. Nice I think that one around. right there is mine. <laughs> she was like, I'm not waiting for you to cook yours. She's like, just give it to me now. <laughs> yeah, give it to me now. Oh. And then we'll let that brown up and we'll get another tortilla in there working and get that ready to go. Just slide that onto a plate. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. And then you can just take like a uh, you know, if you want to do a knife or you could use a pizza cutter, I'm using the pizza cutter here. Slices of avocado. And yeah, some, some sour cream and some chives. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Mm. Breakfast is served. And you can make some guacamole if you wanted to and put on it. Oh, absolutely. I just had that avocado there. I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and cut those up. Look at that. Mm. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. You ready? Breakfast. I'm ready. And that's a wrap. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.